sorry about that. For the highest chipper, you can go hi ho hi ho. Welcome back, YouTubers. This is another gameplay review. Uh, it's called Blood Rage Digital Edition. Let's get into it. Okay, it's starting off with a tutorial, guys. Let's get into it. Aim of the game. Learning the game. In this tutorial, you're going to learn both how to play a game of Blood Rage and how to interact with the digital version. Continue. The order of this tutorial does not represent the same order the game is played in. Instead, it introduces concepts step by step to make the game as accessible as possible. Victory condition. Collect glory is how players win in Blood Rage. At the end of the game, the player with the most glory wins. Continue. You gain glory through victory in battle, through pillaging, uh, accomplishing quests for the gods and dying valiantly in battle. Sorry for my bad English. Let's get to it. The only way to get figures onto a board is to invade with them. Invading means placing a figure from your reserve on the board of any of the prov provinces apart from Yggdrasil. That was freaking hard to say, Yggdrasil. Who came up with that tongue twisting name? Okay guys, it seems this is Yggdrasil. I don't know what the hell. Invade Elvagar with your leader. Click on the highlighted village. Okay, Edluk. With, with, Elvagar. Okay, Elvagar, this one. Should I click my war, my champion or what? Okay, how do I, this one, leader. Placing figures cast their strength in rage. Rage is your currency in blood. Rage, once you're out of it, you can act. You can't act anymore for the rest of the age. By the way, guys, this game got very negative feedback from Steam. I was in Steam and I saw it got pretty bad ratings. I'm gonna show you guys. As you can see, it it, it has got, oh, bollocks. Let me show you again, guys, sorry about that. So uh, the reviews from this game is very negative. That's why I wanted to play this game because it, it was very negative. Okay, let's get into it. Figure limit. You can place one up to one leader, eight warriors, and one ship during that age if you have enough horns. If a figure dies, you must wait till the next age and get it back. All right. I don't understand what I'm doing. Let's get let's just try to play this game. Raven turn. What the hell? Wolf turn. Invade Elvigar with a warrior. Click on the click in one of the remaining villages and Elvigar. Okay. Yes, let's try to get Elvigar, I guess. Pillaging. Pillaging and battle. Pillaging is a way of both win glory and also to improve your clan stats. Every time you successfully you successfully pillage, you will get a regions of war, which will increase one of the three stats. Rage, access, horns. I don't know the stat jack shit. Let's continue this game. That increases. Pillage in Eggdrasil will give you sub uh, will give you a much bigger reward. You will be able to increase all three stats by one. Alright, I need to take over the whole continent. A quick way to judge your chances in battle is by evaluating the strength of everyone in present, in, present in the province. Just hover over the province to see it. <coughs> Continue. What is this? What are these cards? Call to battle. Once a player has declared his intention to pillage a province, the other players have the chance to join the battle if they wish of their figures from a, a, a uh, how do you say this game how to say this guys adjacent i'm gonna check it up in google uh, google translate guys uh, adjacent i don't know how you pronounce that i don't understand uh once all the villages is the provide the occupied when no one else's wishes to join and the battle begins all right no there are no villages in yggdrasil so any number of figures can join and battle there continue this is a lot of reading. I'm getting tired. Sorry. Each player <coughs> participa participating <coughs> in the battle. <coughs> Sorry. May choose a card from his hand. Then all cards are revealed simultaneously. Players who reveal cards, battle cards, apply the effect and adds plus strength bonus to the total strength of the figures in the battle. If a player reveals an upgrade, a monster or request is has no effect. Some special battle cards can be used in a player. Jesus. I'm, I'm starting to sweat. Holy shit, it's a, even more reading. I, I'm just gonna skip this, guys. Or else I'm gonna sweat like a donkey man. Alright, uh, win the battle. Choose Tyre Smith to play by double clicking it. Okay, battle. Lose of cards. Loss of cards. My bad English. The winner of the cards, if any, must discard all the calls you have played. Alrighty then. 
Jesus, it's a lot of reading up in this B. I'm the wolf, right? Yeah. So this game costs, uh, let me see. It's like in Norwegian coins, it's freaking 199 coins. I mean, kroners, coins. <laughs> what am I, medieval? Okay, 199 crowns. Uh, that's like 20 bucks, I think. Uh, that's why the, the feedback is very low because it costs a lot and it's the game is it's not that great guys I'm sorry to tell you this news but uh, I'm the honest player drag and drop card into an empty upgrade slot yeah well uh, which which cards guys what the F I don't understand this game do they mean these cards or what place the troll in the anger Buddha Angle, Anger Buddha, okay. Where are you, troll? There you go. Okay, I'm really confused, guys. This is a weird game. I was hoping some for some more, like, Heroes of Might and Magic start freaking doing something that makes sense. March a troll from the Anger Buddha to Mush Helm. I don't know what the, what the fuck. Mush Helm. Hame. Select your troll, okay? And go to here. Wolf turn. What is this? For the highest shipper you can go, hey ho, hey ho. Continue, close the battle shield. Is it just me that's, I don't know, that don't know how to play or is this game weird? Let me know in the comment section. For the highest shipper you can go, hey ho, hey ho. I don't understand shit, I don't understand this shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on, hey ho, hey ho. Place your quest card. Yeah, where is my quest card? Maybe I should have read the description, the, the, the thingy jiggy. For Thing Quest is a good way both to gain extra glory and to boost your class state. To do that, you need to complete some of the ships and fjords. Oh, we are in Norway again. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, but soon I'm gonna take off my t shirt if I need to read more. Not. There you go, ship. Passing. Passing gas. End of an age. I'm sweating in the end of the age. Start quest phase. Bollocks. Is this the whole game, guys? To play with cards and like this? Gift from the of the gods. Gift of the gods. There you go! In the compendium, you will find overview in default. Okay, it's too much reading. Continue. End of tutorial. Oh, thank god. I don't understand. Check shit. Single player. Start game. Wolfman. Okay, start game. So, I'm Gandalf the Grey. Am I? This is really not my type of tea my cup of tea guys but uh yeah i thought i was, was gonna make this a play a bad game for once or i've played some bad games but this one is really bad low 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 i think it's pretty bad that this game is 20 bucks on steam 199 norwegian crowns for this small weird game as a I don't know what the I don't know what to say guys it's I think it's bollocks let me know what you think of the price and should this game be a free to play game okay bear's turn so yeah I don't want to play this game anymore guys this is a waste of my time I rather want to play a game that I enjoyed from the looks of the pictures in the steam in steam it looks like a decent game but uh, when I've played it now it's BS so yeah sorry about that my breakfast if you like this video guys leave a like on the, my channel subscribe to my channel to help me grow to make more videos for you guys if you have any games you want me to check out leave a comment in the comment section see you on the next episode